In this video, I'm going to show you how I fill out the seven keyword boxes nowadays for my books. And I've already created a video on the seven keyword boxes over a year ago. And this is just an updated video. And uh, I'm just going to show you a couple of tweaks I make nowadays when it comes to filling in the boxes. And one thing to know is that through my experience, I find that the seven keyword boxes, they don't hold as much weight as they once did. So previously what would happen was whatever keywords you'd have in the back end, your books would get ranked high for these keywords. But nowadays I find that that's not the case and it doesn't happen as much as it used to. So it's important to get your title and subtitle correct and to have as many keywords in them as possible, especially relevant keywords that have low competition. So the book you see on the screen is one of my books and it's a gastric sleeve journal so you can see that that is the first keyword and you can see that there's many other keywords as well so for example there's the word bariatric so if someone types in bariatric journal my book will possibly show up and it's a similar case with the other keywords as well so if someone types in bariatric surgery journal my book can also show up. So you can see that I've got quite a lot of keywords in the title and subtitle of my book. But at the same time, you can see that there's no repetition and I'm not keyword stuffing my title and subtitle. But of course, you can't get all of the keywords inside your title and subtitle. So you do have to make use of the seven keyword boxes that are in the back end. And as mentioned, you should prioritize your title and subtitle because they hold the most weight and Amazon give priority to the keywords that are there. And let's say two people are selling in the same niche and person number one, they have uh, the relevant keywords in the title and subtitle, whereas person number two, they don't have the relevant keywords and instead they have their keywords in the back end. What you'll find is that the book that has the keywords in the title and subtitle will get ranked higher and I'm saying this through experience and it's not something that Amazon mentioned in their guidelines. Anyway moving on to how I fill out the seven keyword boxes if I just open up this word document you can see that there's a string of seven keywords over here and there's two ways to fill out the seven keyword boxes. The first way is by having phrases at the beginning as you can see here I've highlighted the phrases and then whatever remaining spaces there are to fill them up using uh, singular keywords for example you can see over here that for the long tail keyword in the first line so bariatric journal for gastric sleeve you can see that for the remaining spaces I put the words food and log so this is the first way that you can do it and it's my preferred method. The second way is by not including phrases and instead just having uh, relevant singular words only in the back end. And that's something that I used to do at the beginning. I used to just have singular keywords or singular words fill up the seven keyword boxes. But for around two years, I've been using this method instead where I fill out the boxes using uh, phrases and then I fill up the remaining spaces using singular words. And I find that that works best for me. For other people, the second method may work better. So these keywords, I usually find them using other books. So what I do is I look at other books that are in the niches and look at the keywords that they've used in their books. And sometimes what I'll do is I'll start to search for these keywords to see if anything appears. And if they do, I'll use the keywords in the back end. So that's a manual method that you can use. Alternatively, what you can do is if you have a tool such as Publisher Rocket, then you can find the long tail keywords through it. And that's, of course, a paid method and you have to buy Publisher Rocket for that. I do have a link to Publisher Rocket in the description. If you're interested in it, you can check it out if you want to. So a good practice when filling out the seven keyword boxes is to make sure to utilize all the spaces that you have. So what you don't want to do is just use half of the spaces that they provide and leave the other half empty. That's not really utilizing the spaces. What you want to do is fill them up using relevant keywords because the more keywords you have, the more your books will rank throughout Amazon. And as mentioned, you can use other books to help you find these keywords. And you can also use the help of AI such as 
chat GPT. So you can just ask it, uh, give me keywords related to a gastric sleeve journal. And you can see that it generates many different keywords that you can potentially use as part of your backend. And of course, you want to make sure that they're relevant and the words that people are typing in. What you don't want to do is just use random words from these AI tools or from anywhere that aren't relevant to the books. Otherwise, what you'll end up doing is just wasting valuable space that you have for the seven keyword boxes. And what I also like to do is to use filler keywords. So here's what I mean by filler keywords. So let's say you filled up as much spaces as you can. Then I'll use words such as men, women, uh, sometimes kids if the books are relevant to kids. And then also the calendar years such as 2023, 2024 and 2025. So you can see that I'm future proofing these books. So if someone was to type in uh, gastric sleeve journal for 2024, when it's 2024, then hopefully my book will show up. So this is just a brief video on how I fill up the seven keyword boxes nowadays. And I'm just going to end this video. If you want to learn about how to do keyword research in a free way, then check out the video that's on your screen now. And thank you for watching.